Today's Ask Reddit post, window cleaners of Reddit, what are your stories you witnessed on the job? Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one, let's get started. So I was on a 10 story, early in the morning, first drop of the day, top floor, naked man, nothing but a teal eye mask on, not my thing, next floor, naked woman in her kitchen, 80, looked like a puppet out of a genesis video, also not my thing. About an hour or two later, elsewhere on the building, an older woman offers me some cookies out a window. I see that the initial woman is kinda hiding in the shadows. She felt bad about flashing me and went to her friend's apartment to give me cookies. That was a weird day. Never saw anything I particularly wanted to though. For some reason it's never the hotties. I order pizza when I have no cash and it's never the horny college hunk. Always the manager's middle aged cousin. Right out the slammer for dealing meth to high school kids. As the former horny college hunk. We do exist but always get called to the horny middle aged man house instead of yours. P-lot twist here's the horny middle aged man. Not a window cleaner however I was working on a high rise construction site when one of the guys yells out there's a girl here shaving her pussy on the balcony naturally we all run over to look at the building next door. There was a woman on the balcony giving her cat a haircut. That's even weirder if anything. Yep, generally cats shed and don't require shaving. It can happen though. Long haired cats fur can get matted. Especially if they are older. And it's next to impossible to fix sometimes aside from cutting the knotted bits out. That makes more sense and is something I've run into. They don't like it. I was envisioning a scenario where this woman was just shaving her cat bald. I worked retail and once a month a window cleaner lady would come in and clean the store windows. She told me that one time she was cleaning the windows from the inside of the Apple store and a man walks by and licks the outside part of the window she was cleaning. She was upset since she had already cleaned it and would have to clean it again, but responded by telling the man, good thing I haven't cleaned that side. The man got upset and went to look for a manager. Birds crashing into windows. Kids dropping water balloons. You need to train the birds to crash into the kids instead. Now that's what I call killing two birds with one stone. Now that's what I call killing two kids with one bird. Now that's what I call killed 199. 000 people with two nukes. Not a window cleaner. But my mom used to work on the top floor of a 32 floor building and there were some window cleaners a couple of floors down. My mom heard alarms going off in the building suddenly and she didn't know what was happening but it seemed bad. A few hours later she found out that the wind was so bad that day that the window cleaners were getting thrown around and smashing into a bunch of windows. Apparently the videos on the news showed them being pulled 20 feet away from the building in the heavy winds and they were just hanging on for dear life. They thankfully were rescued and no one got hurt. But they promptly quit. Was this an Edmonton by chance? Saw a crazy video that sounds just like that. This was Denver actually. But damn that sucks that it happened somewhere else too. I was thinking this was Oklahoma City. Though the guys they had one cable snap unfortunately. So one guy passed. Comma. I used to clean wineries and winery businesses in California. And this lady had her desk stationed with her back to the window. She was playing World of Warcraft at work. It was pretty dope. I've also just had people stare at my ass. Never understood why people do this at work or watch porn since so many business have tracking software. One US gov agency head had gigabytes of porn on his computer and discs in his desk. So much so they couldn't figure out when he did his job. My cousin's husband was visiting Swinger websites in the 911 dispatch computer, very small county, and saving it in a file on the computer. Sheriff himself found it. I had an internship at a local agency and their 911 dispatch team was currently under an internal investigation because there had been watching inappropriate videos during the night shift. Can't remember what all of them were but it was mostly on YouTube. One specifically was the grapefruit video, if you know. You know, that probably has some use as a dispatcher. Imagine you get a call and all you hear is watch 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 watch. You know she's burning fat. 
This board meeting was going on through the third floor window. Guy in charge asks a question. And the three people to his left all charm in with answers. The furthest from him chimes in with a good idea. But the head guy gives him a look and crash. Right through the window. Had us in the first half. Not gone lie. I don't get it. It's based off the boardroom suggestion meme template. Not much of a story. But you see a lot of peen. Mostly on accident but also plenty of exhibitionists out there. I do lots of work in a largely gay town. Seriously. More gay couples than straight. They love seeing us young working guys come do their windows. And I don't blame them. Some will often will schedule us nearly weekly. I really don't mind it as a straight man. I find it quite flattering really. Some creepers like to show off their stuff yo. And along with that I've seen plenty of full frontal nude dude art hanging on walls and whatnot. Comma full frontal nude dude art. High class dick pics. I'm still waiting for the answer that just says. I saw someone ducking on the kitchen table or something like that. Two chicks at the same time. Man. I think if I had a million dollars two chicks would double up on a dude like me. Yeah. But is it worth it to run into all those red lights? Meter. I like it. My cousin was a window cleaner until he fell from three stories high. He survived and made a full recovery. That was the only interesting thing he said that happened the entire time he worked there. My cousin was a window cleaner until he fell from three stories high. That must have been a pain in the ass. Maybe it led to a window of opportunity. He wasn't in the right frame of mind. It was clear he was off balance. I was cleaning the windows of a place I worked at, not an actual window cleaner. It was in the evening so almost no cars in the parking lot. As I am cleaning a woman walks out of the building, goes to her car and immediately takes off her blouse and bra and puts on a hoodie. Had some of the best boobs I've seen in my life. Never spoke a word about it until today. She knows how to live. Okay, so like a week ago I'm up on a 20 story business building. As I'm moving down a hawk smacked straight into the glass and fell into the lift. I had no idea what to do with this currently flopping bird as the guy in the cubicle is giving me a death stare. Guess it spooked him and he thought it was me. This week I was cleaning apartments and these two college age girls are sitting on their coach when they notice me. The run up and one flashes me. The other one writes on a sign with a marker and lifts it up for me to see. It said op you should use a serious tag. And that leads us to today. You do realize that even if they use the serious tag there's no way the mods can determine whether you are making a joke or being serious so they technically have to let your story stand. I've told this story before but here it goes. I work on a small team of only women. We usually only have like 3 people in the office on the weekends and we are on the 3rd floor. My colleague decided to pump breast milk in her cubicle and just told us not to come over until she gave the okay. Not unusual. Right as she started pumping completely uncovered. A random window cleaner descended from above and she let out a shriek. I don't think he even noticed right away. But then we watched him quickly try to scurry away from the window. He never came back to clean those windows. LOL. That was very dairy from his part. All while he could have milked the situation. I watched hours and hours of Defrag Drive. Our angry upvote. I witnessed a lot of glass. Nice. Thanks bro. Changed my life. Welp. I was cleaning windows as part of ancillary task for my job at an old folks home and this naked old lady wouldn't stop watching and staring at me while I was cleaning the windows from the outside. Longest 3 minutes of my life. I think she succeeded in asserting her dominance. This is my territory you bitch you might have a squeegee but it is useless against something this wet. Basically all the stories. You've got the first story. You do that one from the ground with a long pole. You've got all kinds of stuff on those windows. Fingerprints. Bird prints. Bird poop. Pollen. Second story. That's a toss up. You can either rig up the scaffolding or use a ladder. Third story and up. That's where the action is. You don't have fingerprints. Except in rare instances. 
but you get a lot of bird stuff up there. And once somebody shot a tomato out of a slingshot and hit the 10th story. That was some kind of day. I tell ya. Yeah, I've seen it all. Got any good 17th story stories? What? No. How about 13th stories? Listen here you little shit. I seen a man jerking off a hamster. Quit the job the same day. I clean my own windows and have not witnessed much of anything. Probably because when you go outside to clean the window, there is no longer anybody inside to witness. Surprise Pikachu face. Way more window lickers here than cleaners mate. They gotta get rid of the grape flavored windows before I stop. While cleaning someone's windows, I found 50 gigabytes of temporary files and miscellaneous downloads. Is it terrible that I just leave everything in my downloads folder? I figure I'll know that I downloaded it, and I can just sort it by date or file format to find what I want. That way, I'll never have to hunt through my computer to figure out where I thought was the best place for that one font I downloaded one time or DND sheet character 4, 3, PDF. Yes, you heathen. Not a window cleaner but, I woke up one day with serious morning wood. Wife was sleeping, so I decided to take care of it myself. One hand on my penis on the laptop trackpad. I notice a shadow fall on my through the window. I look out the window and lock eyes with the maintenance guy doing some work on the outside of the building as he was being pulled up to the top floor. That was their first week. I saw that guy every day for the next 3 weeks while they finished work. Amateur move. When I operate laptop trackpads with my penis, I do it hands free. I feel like as a non-window cleaner I apparently have a spicier story than most of the window cleaners lol. My family was in NYC on vacation back in like 2007 and we stayed on a high floor in a hotel that had excellent views of the city and the buildings around it. I had a pair of those cheap ass pocket binoculars and was using them to gaze around. I was truly not trying to peep at all. But on a casual pass I spotted what was very clearly a naked photoshoot going on in another building. I saw two guys both naked as the day they were born posing in front of one of the windows and was so startled I dropped the binoculars like in a movie. Long story short, my skeptical but very curious family took turns verifying my claim and then we all laughed really hard. Never thought I'd actually see something like that. It was like that episode from Friends. We all lauded really hard at the naked guys. More like at the situation. But sure, it was surprising and a funny thing to spot from your hotel room. I used to work during my high school years for my uncle's company of hours as window cleaner. One late afternoon when most employees of that office building already left, I saw a rather escalating fist fight between two employees and a rather helpless woman trying to intervene a broomstick. One of those unreal moments of disbelief and relief to be the window cleaner on the other side. I know a fella. Such a swell. He has a thirst. That's plain to tell. I've seen him drink his bath as well. When I'm cleaning windows. Starting off real strong. Once saw a bondage session that involved a lot of feathers. Poor chickens. Maybe the chickens enjoy it. Maybe they only enjoyed it after someone egged them on. Back when I worked at a small restaurant, I would be tasked with general cleaning. It sucked. It was located less than a mile from the border. One day while some BPs were eating they, suddenly they storm out of the restaurant with chatter over the radio. Apparently there a group of immigrants crossed over the river and made a run for the US. Funny thing is that one of the BPs was left behind in the restroom that time. He packed up all the food and waited for his partners to come for him. Approximately 30 birds die every second in the USA from flying into buildings. Doing a huge house and the owner calling back to tell us that they have a scratch over a piece of glass and claiming one of our diamond rings make this scratch. Yeah, window cleaners are not running around with diamond rings. Biggest high roll ever. I do mainly high rise, so rope access. So there are a lot of people who forget to close their curtains and blinds. 
plenty of naked people, mainly old though, an elderly person on the toilet, that was probably my most awkward, a few people offering me coffee, tea, soft drink, alcohol, scaring the life out of people who had no idea we were coming. The worst experience I've had is probably the first time we arrived at a new building and had no idea how to get up onto the roof. The elevator went straight into the penthouse apartment. So my colleague and I called out but got no response. So we called again. This time louder. Nothing. So we start casually wandering around this apartment looking for stairs. Or a hatch. Anything. After a few minutes we hear the most rage induced shouting and a sleepy looking man in his underwear comes bounding out his room and chased us out. He had no idea who we were, and why we were in his apartment. We apologized profusely and after he calmed down he was pretty embarrassed. No one told him we were coming so it's understandable he got so upset by being woken up like that. Anyone who gets in that elevator can get inside his apartment? Doesn't seem very secure. No you need a free on board to get into the building and to use the elevator. We were given one by the building manager. The blushing bride. She looks divine the bridegroom he is doing for need rather have his job than mine when I'm cleaning windows. Turned out nicer game didn't it? Now I go cleaning windows to earn an honest bob. For a nosy parker it's an interesting job. Now it's a job that just suits me. A window cleaner you would be if you can see what I can see. When I'm cleaning windows. Find a YouTube link for it. Karen. For that last time. I am not the window cleaner. Stop demanding that I clean your window. More witnessing a window cleaner but our window cleaner stole our shabby, mostly rotten bird table for no apparent reason. He probably thought he was doing you a favor. I was once worked at the checkouts in my local supermarket and one day a man came with completely no arms and when time came to pay he asked to pay by card. I said sure and asked if he needed me to move the card reader lower for ease of access. He told me no need and proceeded to raise his foot up to in front of his face. He then placed his card into the card reader and then enter his pin using his toes with ease. Never seen anything like that whilst working in a store but clearly he wasn't gonna let something like no arms hold him back. There's a motivational speaker named Alvin Law who was born without arms. He came to my high school sometime around 199900. The school had a golf cart which he drove into the gym and right up to the dais using his feet, and not slowly either. Here I am two decades later and I still remember the guy's name. He came to my school as well. He brought drums onto the stage with him and he could do an insanely fast drum roll. I saw a porn related to this just yesterday. Okay, this is definitely too much internet for today. I saw you above. Hey off already, dude. There's a whole comment section he has to partly finish. I don't have any, but I have bet they've seen a lot of stories. I'll see myself out now. I like your name. Good sir. Caught a guy jacking it to fart porn. Twice. How would you know what it was if all you could do is see? He also watches fart porn and recognized it. Correct. No king shaming here. Enjoy your farts. I had a woman with dementia try to punch me in the face once. One time I was cleaning windows on a building where a guy got stuck on the roof so I was letting him ride my lift down and he started yelling to this guy saying he wasn't a window cleaner. Weird guy kinda socially awkward. I think he worked in IT. You would be surprised at how many buildings have dicks spray painted on the roofs of tall buildings. I always got a chuckle. Bro, you actually watched the whole video, I'd give you a high five if I was a human. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.